So, Christian, we've talked about a number of things, uh, including um, how how museums and galleries uh, need to consider uh, exhibiting work, uh, collecting uh, digital art and new media, uh, social media, the intersection of art and technology. But one of the big questions that needs to be answered is, where's the money, right? <laughs> Who's going to fund this? Who's going to pay for it? Uh, I just recently read uh, uh, that uh, the in England, uh, their big governmental arts body, um, I'm not quite sure, I can't remember the name, but it's the equivalent of the National Endowments for the Arts, which we have here. It's their equivalent in England. Yep. That they just allocated uh, $815 million to digital art and culture. Uh, I haven't mm -hmm. heard of anything like that happening in the United States uh, why do you think that is? And if it were to happen or if it should happen, who benefits from that and who suffers if we don't fund uh, digital art and new media? Um, I think the issue is actually even larger than funding digital art and new media because arts funding in the United States has always been uh, almost non-existent. I think there was a time when uh, the arts funding of the city of Berlin exceeded the funding, arts funding of the United States. Are you, um, could you in, repeat in, in, that? Yeah. The, the arts yes, there was, a, there was a point in history, um, I would need to trace that, but I yeah. don't think it's a myth where the um, arts budget of the city of Berlin exceeded that of the national The entire endowment. United States. That yeah. is extraordinary. And de very well, depressing. It needs to be verified, but yeah, it's, yeah no, uh, I, I, it's depressing. I'm I'm sure it's correct because yeah, it's it's evident. Uh, arts arts funding in um, the U.S. Uh, is depressing, definitely, yeah. and I think that has a lot to do um, with people still questioning the role that art uh, plays in society, right. and that is very different um, in Europe where. Um, there are hundreds and hundreds uh, of years uh, or even thousands of the history of art and um, the role of art per se isn't questioned anymore. You know? um, there is funding allocated to the arts. Well, and I always tell people that, you know, if you think of any great civilization in history, you know, from uh, ancient Egypt uh, to, to Rome, uh, Ethiopia, and in contemporary times, Paris, London, Berlin, art and architecture are the first things that come to mind when you think about great cultures and civilizations. Yeah. And I think the arts play uh, an incredibly uh, important role in cultural development in general. Um, making art accessible to people and teaching art in schools is not about um, training them to be painters. But if you look at, um, for example, jobs today, you know, when it um, comes to advertising or uh, really any sector of the economy, um, evol involves to some extent visuals you know, and the creation Absolutely. of visuals. Absolutely. What we need is visual literacy, and that is something uh, that the arts teach us about, and that is something that kids need to learn about in school, um, because otherwise we're um, simply not up to par when it comes to, um, you know, performing in visual culture in, um, in general. Yeah? And from every book cover to every ad to every branding project uh, that is out there, uh, visuality um, is important. Uh, and and this, the arts affect all of that. Yeah. And in this age, uh, that means digital. Absolutely. Yeah. Most yeah. of it um, is obviously uh, now done by means of digital technologies. You know? And yeah. I, I don't want to make um, the arts just an instrument for um, the industry, but we need to acknowledge um, how crucial the arts are to cultural development and allocate um, the funding to it. Christian, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. You're welcome. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.